Hello, today I'm going to be taking a look at the just released Metroid Dread version Samus Figma. And I've messed around with her just a little bit, got a few pictures, did some new extra poses, and just messed around with the articulation and accessories for a little bit. And, uh, hell, I think she might be better than the uh, Prime 3 Samus, which I have there in the background. Um, I have about 32, give or take, runs in Dread. I've put about 90, 80 hours into the game, and I'm in, infatuated with it. I pre-ordered it as soon as the pre-orders were up on the Switch. But this is about the Figma, based off of the coolest woman in the galaxy. So, starting off with accessories, she doesn't come with a lot but she came with what I feel was necessary. So, she includes the Omega Cannon, which is an arm cannon upgrade in the game used to kill the Emmy robots, which are the big bads of the game, pretty much. It simply pegs into her elbow joint with that peg hole right there. You just take off her normal arm cannon and swap it out. It's that simple. These do not move. These... Uh, flayed out parts. They are stationary. I wish they could fold. That would be cool to like close it up and make it look like her normal arm cannon, but they don't move. Which is fine. It looks great. The red is beautiful. The blue is beautiful. The paint is crazy. The vent on the bottom is a really nice blue and blackish red. This is this part right here that I'm touching is almost red but it's so deep you can barely tell. It's almost like bronzish red mixed together. Same for this part inside the barrel. I don't know how well that's showing up, but I am trying to show you the best I can. And uh, it's really damn good looking. I love this Omega Cannon accessory. It's great. Now, besides this relaxed hand she has on right now, she only comes with three hands. Which is not a big deal. The Prime Samus came with four hands, but one of them was a thumbs up, but otherwise she comes with the exact same ones. So, she includes a fist. I have it on the extra included wrist joint, just so I don't lose it. And it is beautifully sculpted and painted. A very well done fist. I really, I really like it. And uh, she also includes a splayed open hand for maybe placing on her cannon or on her hip for some sass. But I didn't mean to drop that. Or just, you know, posing her with her cannon pointed forward. These hands don't move at all. They are sculpted in the uh, shape they're supposed to be. With a hole in the bottom for the wrist joint. Now, putting those to the side... Let's get into her... Well, not yet. Let's get into Samus first. So, the sculpting, the painting is fucking gorgeous. She is... it. Again, it looks better in person than it does on camera. I can promise you that. The red is incredibly vibrant. Those greens almost look like they're glowing. The blue is nice and shiny. And the white and blue mixture is just downright beautiful, for lack of a better word. I love this color combination for her suit. And I understand this is just her basic power suit, not the Varia, but damn does it kick ass. So, oh, right, the back. Uh, the back is great. Absolutely no problems with it. That is the peg hole right there in the center of her spine. In the center of her spine, I mean. And when you crunch her forward, she has these two extra dots above and below the peg hole. And I'm pretty sure this top one is supposed to be the same as this one, just for when she's, you know, standing straight up. So it's just doubled to make it more seamless and make the design make more sense, I guess. But, just give you a good shot of the back. She's really well done. Very, very impressive. 
the, the engineering is impressive too, but we'll get into that in just a second. So, starting at the top of her head, at her head, uh, it works just fine. She can, the, the neck is the same as the Prime Samus Figma. It's a floating piece that is separate from the head and chest. So it's just sitting in there, being kept in place by the head being connected to the body. So she can look up pretty damn far. Is that as far as it goes? Yeah, that's as far as it goes. She can look down decently far, as much as the shape of her suit will allow her to. With a, a rock as well to the head. And that's about as much side to side as she can get. Yeah, that's about as far to the side as it'll go. And actually, I'm going to show you why. So, one thing I've already figured out about her is she does not use the standard Figma joints for anything but her elbows. These are the only places where the, like, typical Figma joint is that you would expect to be here. So, floating neck piece, hollow in the back. With the socket for her head. And the head is actually on quite an interesting dumbbell joint. So, it has a ball in the top inside of the head and a ball here to attach. It's actually pretty damn cool. I like this a lot. I'm very happy with this design, even though I have very limited experience with it so far, but it's quite well done. There we go. There we go. That's a tough joint. So, the head is not super limited, but it can get enough natural poses that you would want to be there. Now, getting into her arms, uh, first off, they have a butterfly joint. I don't know how well that's showing up, but a butterfly joint allowing them to move back and forth inside the socket. That has, that has a ton of range, like a lot more than you would think it would, but it's really good. Other arm is the same, obviously. Uh, her pauldrons... God, that green and blue is gorgeous. It's so much brighter than it is on my camera. I can look at my phone and tell you it's not as bright as it is in person. But, uh, moving up to the pauldrons anyways. Uh, they can get a little bit of movement. If you push them down, they tend to dip and tilt forward towards her chest. See? Like that? Yeah, they, they tend to dip down forward. Or is that... Yeah, no, they can't move much further than that. They can twist back and forth a little bit. And they get out of the way just enough for her arm to move properly. And uh, her bicep does have a swivel. Swivel. Both of them do. See? And it can go pretty damned far in any direction you really want it to. A very very deep elbow bend actually that's really good uh wrist can swivel and rotate of course and the wrist can bend back and forth or if you want her hand to lift raw up and down rather than side to side like towards her palm to the back of her hand and up towards the, her thumb and pinky you can just take the hand off and twist this joint in place and it will work just fine. And if you watch my Prime Samus video, I explained it. It's pretty much the exact same setup. Um, her arm cannon is drop-dead gorgeous looking. The painting is insane. That yellow and dark green is great. The tip of the barrel is beautifully painted. The screen on top of it is a nice jet black and is very glossy. Very glossy. And just show you the bottom of it too. Just for kicks. Now, getting to her midsection, she can crunch quite far. Very good crunch. And a pretty good arcing back. I like it. It's well done. 
And of course, she can rotate and rock side to side. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's more than I thought it could go. Like, again, I just got her today, and I'm still messing with her, but that rock is a lot further than I thought it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, I love this fucking figure so far. Um, <laughs> I, I don't really know how well it's showing up, but that shows the assembly of her arm. The pauldron, uh, that little white strip in the pauldron there, that's its own special ball joint, so it's like on its own little arm connected to the back of the shoulder. But they move quite a lot just to get her arms out of the way and allow for plenty of posability. And unlike the prime Samus Figma, she can cross her arms across her chest. No problem. That is good. That is really fucking good. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy with this. But, uh, moving on a little bit, uh, her waist can, well, that's really just showing off her chest again, but, like, her stomach and below her stomach, it can move independently as well. It cannot twist, and I'll get to that in just a second, as to why it can't twist, but her belly can crunch forward at the bottom of it right here, and down in the same area. It's the same on both ends of her stomach to her chest to her pelvis. The pelvis itself is anchored to the waist skeleton, I think. I'm not really sure. But the pelvis itself has a little bit of swivel to it from the axis it's connected to. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, legs. I'm just going to do one. They're both the same. Uh, thigh can swivel plenty that that's a lot of movement wow uh it can kick she can kick quite far oh my god can it do a 360 oh it can it can do a 360 i think okay i'm pushing that back into position there we go uh the knee can swivel very, very far. It's a tight joint, so I'm not going to stress it any more than that, just showing you that it can twist by itself. Or, well, it can twist very well. The knees, the knees are cool as shit. I need to get into this now. So, this little part is separate to the rest of the shin. And that is for that reason so it can bend without compromising the sculpt. The knees can bend crazy far back. Oh my god. Um, the feet... The feet are really good. I didn't mean to bump my phone. But, okay, so getting down to the legs. This heel guard can move by itself. It has about that much range that I'm showing right now. Which isn't a lot, but it's more than you need. Uh, surprisingly, has a toe bend. I was not expecting a toe bend. At all. <laughs> that is so good. Uh, the ankle can move far and up quite well. Oh, you saw that move. Uh, yeah, the ankle guard is on its own little hinge joint and can move pretty freely in there. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy with her, man. Um, okay, so just fix her foot so she can stand up. There we go. All right, now sitting her off to the side for just a minute. Uh, I have, this is the uh, stand part she came with. But I have it on a small base that I think came with my other M. Samus Figma. But this is the base again, just showing you. But she came with... Oh, shit. Oopsie. This very big base. Quite large. And I like that she did because it's nice to have more of these than not have any of them, really. 
Now getting to the packaging. Uh, it's a fucking big one. <laughs> so it's a beautiful spacey red. Very, very good shots of her. I have the morph ball in there simply because I'm not going to use it. And a fridge magnet. Yeah, that's a magnet with a hand and foot sculpted into it for her to hang off of, like with the uh, spider ability in Dread. I forget what it's called, but it's something spider. Spider climb, I guess. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> but it's really cool. Uh... Some good artwork there on the side. And shots of her on the back. You can pause the video here if you need to look at them. With some Japanese text that I can't read because this figure did come straight from Japan. And she also includes this really nice slip cover for the box. It has the same stuff as the back of the actual box on it. But I'll show it anyways. Oh, right, real real quick. With this nice metallic blue that says Samus Aran Dread version on the bottom. It's really good. <laughs> but this has the same stuff as the actual box on the back of it. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> but uh, I think I give this Samus Figma an easy 10 out of fucking 10. No questions. Uh, I think that's about all I got for this video. I hope you liked it, and, uh, it, this was fun to talk about, honestly. I'm really happy with her. She was well worth the 95 bucks she cost. That's my opinion. Oh, right, pricing. So, on Good Smile's actual website, she's $86, but 95 including tax. That's for the Japanese one. The American one is also $86, but on J Good Smile's American website, it will round up to about $102, including tax. So, that's just a warning. Not really a warning, but just a, just so you know, I guess. Anyways, I hope you like this video, because I know I enjoyed making it, and I damn love this figure. She's really fucking cool. Anyways, peace out. This is a good review. 10 out of 10.